Mark chapter 9, verses 33 to 35. Then he came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What was it you disputing among yourselves on the road? But they kept silent, for on the road they had disputed among themselves who would be the greatest. And he sat down, and called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all. And servant of all. Jesus and his followers arrived at Capernaum. Once again, the disciples were alone with their master. The class which had begun as they were walking through Galilee had not yet finished. Jesus asked them, What are we arguing about during the journey? Their hearts almost stopped when they heard the question. Because they had been quarreling about who was the greatest. While their Lord spoke about his suffering and death, their primary concern was how to gain the highest rank both in the Lord's absence and in his future kingdom. This is the spirit of Lucifer, the fountain from which sin was born. The lesson continued as the teacher gave them the essential principles underpinning leadership. And they were all going to be leaders of the early church. So it was vital that they master the principle that Jesus was about to teach them. If anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. Anyone who is thinking about stepping forward and leading out, or anyone who is already a leader, should be aware of this principle and put it into practice. He should be last and the servant of all. Does this mean leaders should mop the floor or empty the garbage cans? No. Jesus was not saying that leaders should carry out the job functions of a servant. Every leader has a different role in an organization and must do the work which is in their job description. However, they should also be ready to any work if it's necessary at the time. In the context of Mark chapters 8 and 9, we can interpret this in the light of the passion of Christ. Jesus was going to suffer and die for the world. He did not live for himself, but for all humanity. The life of a servant is surrendered to his master, and his desire is to serve him. In the same way, Jesus gave his all for the sake of his people. Likewise, a leader must be willing to give their all for the sake of their people. Likewise, a leader must be willing to give their all for the sake of their people. Like a good shepherd who dies to save his sheep, we must be willing to help those who lead to be ready for the next step on our journey heavenward. Ellen White says, What the disciples needed was a change of heart that would bring them into harmony with Jesus' kingdom's principles. Do you desire to be first? Do you desire to be a leader? Then you must ask yourself the question, Am I ready to follow the passion of Christ?